for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Snip of the Mad Cheese, as always. Got some plays for you guys today out of my Raiders offensive ebook. I haven't put out a ton of plays from them lately, but since the November patch came out, I had to go through all my old books and update them with a ton of new plays. And the play I'm going to show you guys today probably is the glitchiest one. It was one of the better plays pre-patch, but to me, it's like one of the meta one-play touchdowns post-patch. I mean, you can score against any single defense in the game with one or two adjustments, depending on what you're looking at. Uh, and it also has a ton of great you know supporting plays which i'm not sure if i'm going to show in today's video or if i'm just going to have my ebooks and on my patreon i'm going to join our community tab depending on how long the video goes but as always if you guys want to see a full breakdown of this offense or more raiders stuff let me know in the comment section hit the like button other than that let's go and get right into the formation the formation itself is the gun bunch te the play itself i'm going to be focused on most of the time when it comes to this particular video is going to be the pa boot over like i said this is one of the meta plays pre-patch but to me post-patch is even better i mean there's not a ton of great concepts when it comes to bombing up cover three right now but this particular play you can score against just about any single defense in the game i really find the best way to run this would be the inside switch the inside zone the halfback off tackle and the pa boot over those would be the four plays that i like to run the most so i'm gonna go ahead and pick that play first then on the defensive side we usually like i said i'm focusing on cover three but we're gonna start off with cover two now as always this video is brought to you by my coin sponsor aoeh.com if you guys want to get your mutt team up and support your channel at the same time all you have to do is check them out link in the description below and use discount code money to get three percent off what's always guaranteed to be the cheapest coins on the market now as far as this play goes pre-patch all i ever really did was put the a route on a streak now you can see they messed up the last patch i think the october patch they messed up how this streak works but this is still a good play i mean you can run it like this and you can see these crossing receivers you can still get like really nice gains uh typically that receiver is going to be your biggest play uh, but ultimately, why do that when you can score one play touchdown? You can do this. Like I said, this is something where I still highly recommend it. But I can score one play touchdown against just about any single defense in the game now just by putting this A route on a fade. The cover three setup is going to be different, and a couple of di there'll be different setups with a couple of different plays. But ultimately, this is the most prominent one. Now, the only other thing I would say is you want to slide your protection to the right. But watch what happens with this cover three or cover two safety now because of this delay fade. You can see right here the safety just reacts way too harshly to that to that cover two or to that delay fade which is something that i think they were trying to patch the only thing they really fix when it comes to the delay fade is you don't no longer have any control over when it releases but that didn't really solve the issue like it still is really glitching when it comes to pulling safeties down which is something that really didn't get fixed so as long as that corner or that tight end doesn't get back quick enough you can see how this guy can get right over the top against just about any safety in the game they tried to pass the delay fade but all they really did was make it release on its own timing, uh, which it still, you know, has the same effect. It still pulls safeties down, which is why, uh, as you can see right here, that safety is going to react to this, uh, to this, you know, the delay fade, and that's why I can get over the top of them with a fast enough receiver. Now that was a little bit closer than I would like. Like I said, it really depends. This can be a little bit hit or miss as far as uh, when that safety or when that delay fade releases, like right here, he didn't release at all. So you can see I'm gonna get much more separation, but it's something that can be an easy one play touchdown against any cover two. And that includes cover two man. So let's go and let's pick that. It's gonna have the exact same effect. Although here, that guy, that rusher just came in straight away. And then you can see here, like I said, I just have to bomb it up over the top as we get a pretty tight window. Like I said, that's the thing. I mean, I'm going against the best safety in the game. But I'm gonna do that one more time. Like I said, I like to slide my protection. If he's on that delay fade and he gets out early like he does here, that's not necessarily good for me. But you can see it's still a very easy one play touchdown. that gets over the top. The number one safety in the game, Tyron Matthew, can't do nothing for it. Now against cover three, it's a little bit different. There's a little bit more of a setup to it. Now when it comes to cover three, it's a very different setup. I'd say cover three and cover one, you're gonna wanna do it this way. All you're gonna wanna do is put the wire out here on a fade. I'll slide my protection one more time. You're gonna see how these short routes pull this cornerback down and apart. And then you can see he's just gonna get right over the top 
uh, for a very easy one play touchdown, although I had to throw that on the run. Delay fades have a little bit of an issue when it comes to pass pro. Um, I could also block my running back. I don't really need him doing that, uh, but I do like how it kind of pulls me in the direction, like in like a sprinting direction across, because I like to get out there anyway. And then you can see, like I said, very easy one play touchdown against cover three and also cover one man. Against cover one man, I'd run it the same way, but you don't really need to do anything against man coverage. You could just leave it as is. Man zero, cover one man. I would say they both have the same effect, but I like that streak pulling that safety back. And then you can see it just makes it a lot easier to get across the formation. So cover zero, cover one man, that'd be the same setup as cover three. Now, when it comes to a defense like cover four quarters, I don't think you need any adjustments at all. So ultimately, if somebody's running cover four quarters, you're just gonna, I mean, the Y route's right there already. I, I gotta take that Y route right away, but you can see the X route's gonna be a home run, one play touchdown, that's gonna be the easiest one. So if you can buy a little time, both of those routes are gonna be open against cover four quarters. Now, the only real difference is gonna be cover four. So cover four drop, let's go and let's pick that. Got to go to the dollar formation for that. But cover four drop contains going to be a little bit different. The only real difference when it comes to cover four uh, drop contain or cover four where it's not matching is you have to run it to the short side of the field. So I'm going to run from the hash mark to the short side, do the exact same setup as the cover three play. And you're going to see that for whatever reason, this just has a much more you know effective rate when it comes to beating uh, the cover four cornerback. As you can see, you know I just basically have to wait until he's parallel with that strong safety and then bullet and pass lead away. I said this here, you know, I'm waiting for this guy to basically go right for that for that strong safety. And then when I bullet and pass lead away, you can see, I mean, it looks like if he's going straight back, I have no play, but he's not. He's crossing his back. So the second I bullet and pass lead away, I just have to click on and sprint away for the throw. And you can see I'm always going to get separation. So I'm going to do that one more time. I can block my running back. I don't really need him doing that. But the play action, I do find like the play action is helpful. So I'm going to do that one more time. Like I said, just fade this Y route basically got to buy time wait for this x route here to cross there you can see I actually got past them which sometimes will happen i think the play action helps when it comes to bringing those those cover four safeties in because ultimately typically cover four safeties play down if i watch the replay here um he probably bit on that play action so this is something where they like said you know the, the they don't they don't typically go straight back like cover two safeties so the play action helps a little bit so i'm gonna end the video there i'll have the rest on my patreon on my join out community tab and in my ebooks if you guys want to see a full breakdown Woo! from this offense at a later date hit the like button let me know in the comment section other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bits and more link in the description below Thank you.